There's a lot of questions surrounding the different kinds of stainless steel filter media. That said, the difference between woven wire media and wedge wire is one of the most commonly asked. That's why in this video, we're gonna be going over the advantages and disadvantages of each kind of filter media so you can determine which one's right for you. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm the sales manager of filtration products here at WS Tyler. Today, we're gonna to be going over the differences between woven wire media and wedge wire so that you can get a better understanding of how they work and how they could integrate into your process. Wedge wire is defined as a metallic filter comprised of V-shaped wires positioned and welded to a support structure. During fabrication, wedge wire can either be constructed to accommodate an outside to inside flow or an inside to outside flow. Wedge wire filters are typically constructed in either cylinders or panels with a filter diameter of between one to 36 inches, a length as long as you need, and a micron rating down to 30 microns. When calculated properly, wedge wire filters are gonna offer adequate support, accuracy, and clog resistance. Woven wire mesh is a series of metallic wires that undergo a weaving process to form rigid and precise openings. This mesh can then be cut and formed to meet a wide array of filter applications. Prior to being woven, wire diameter, micron rating, weave pattern, length, and width are all calculated. This helps ensure accuracy and repeatability in filter performance. Wedge wire is typically made for more durable material than single layer woven wire mesh, especially at low micron ratings. However, a woven wire mesh can undergo a lamentation process, adding a support layer of mesh or a second material like perforated plate. Woven wire filters have a micron rating that can go as low as five microns. A wedge wire filter can go down to 30 microns. Woven wire mesh can be cut and formed to fit virtually any filter process, facilitating use in both large and small scale filtration. Wedge wire can typically only be formed into cones, cylinders, or plate. Both woven wire and wedge wire filters collect material on both sides, making them both relatively easy to clean. The wedge wire has a flat surface and a more durable construction, so it is a little easier to clean. The woven wire, especially at the lower micron ratings, can sustain damage when cleaning with high pressures. As the wires used to construct the wedge wire are typically more robust than the woven wire mesh, it does weigh more. The lifespan of a filter can typically refer to several things. The length of time in between cleanings, how many times you can clean it, and the overall life of a filter before you need to get a new one. As the construction of the wedge wire is considerably more robust, wedge wire typically lasts longer. One differing factor between wedge wire and woven wire is flow rate. As the construction doesn't change going down in micron rating for the wedge wire, your strength will stay the same, but your flow rate will be affected. With woven wire media, your flow rate will remain the same all the way down to your lowest micron rating. When comparing the cost of woven wire and wedge wire with other available filter media, they'll both cost more. When comparing the cost directly between wedge wire and woven wire, the wedge wire will typically cost more at the same micron rating. This is because of all the time, cost, and equipment that goes into producing the wedge wire. For more information on which filter media is right for you, or if you'd like to request a quote, please feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-321-6188, email us at info at wstyler.com, or use the interactive chatbot on our website. If you'd like to learn more about filtration, we do have a learning center on our website filled with video and written information to help you become an expert. Click the link in the video description for more information. To keep up to date with all things WS Tyler, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it. Once again, I'm Sam. Thanks for watching and have a great day.